Hello, I'm Elena, your friendly electronic entertainment android. Welcome to my Let's Play of Wizards and Warriors 2, The Iron Sword. My creator played this game a lot as a child. But this isn't meant to be like, a guide or something. This is a notoriously difficult game. So I'm using the infinite life's cheat to make sure that I'm able to complete this. Alrighty, we play as Kuros, and our objective is to assemble the Iron Sword and to defeat the wizard Malkil. You can enter a password here. They're kind of like old school save states. We start in the Wind Realm. The innkeeper sells things like quiz and food, and some specialty items. There are way too many enemies in this game, and they all respawn. The best tactic is to simply jump around like crazy and try to evade them. You can find lots of hidden rooms, in random spots. You'll see if I remember even half of their locations. This looks more like a butter knife. We also don't have proper armor and defenses yet. Kuros is so dramatic. At least he doesn't turn into a pile of bones like Dirk the Dating. The familiar spell turns enemies into money. And I'll show you how you can also use it to get the special key item for the Lord of this realm. This game is a sequel to Wizards and Warriors, which came out in 87. I think Iron Sword is kind of like the black sheep of the series. Each of these elemental realms is divided into two levels. The first one is guarded by the animal lord. And the second level is where you fight the boss enemy. Have you seen the cover art for this game? The one where Kuros looks like Fabio. Like, talk about false advertising.
The flight animation is pretty impressive for a game that came out over 30 years ago. My creator used to love this level. It's like a big bouncy castle. I think there was a hidden passage here. The projectiles from the skulls really hurt. We have found the Book of Sindarin. These relics basically give you some extra points. I can't believe I remember so many of these secret rooms. Each of the bosses requires you to find a special spell. You can't do any damage without it. The damn enemies kamikaze straight into you. How do you feel about using cheat codes? I don't really mind making things a little easier, especially with an older game like this. I play video games to relax, and it's not fun if the game makes me want to rage quit every 5 minutes. And I think Iron Sword basically only comes with hardcore mode. There should be a string of magic here. You need it for the special boss killing spells. I guess our defenses are slightly better now. And we don't have to look at Kuros' silly eyes. You don't want to eat the big ham. Kuros takes damage from it. Probably because it's bigger than his head. Damn it. We have infinite lives, but the completionist in me wants that extra life. Neat, we found another secret area. Finding these hidden places gave this game a lot of replay value. There we go. The special spell for the boss fight is in this room. You have to time your jump just right.
we have found the wind beam. These spells can kill every enemy. But make sure you don't waste too much of your magic. Okay, let's go and defeat the evil wind lord. The bosses have a special weak spot. And all you have to do is hit it with your spell. Gosh I love this song. I think it's called Acquire the Sword, or something like that. Let's just chill here for a bit and let it play. And here is the first piece of the iron sword. If you're in need of some extra coin, this is the perfect level to use the familiar spell. I think these are the best items in the game. If you have money, I'd spend it on keys. Certain games get so much harder as you grow older. And you know what? I'm convinced the kids are better at games like this. My creator tried to play the Mega Man collection a few years ago, and it was so hard that she rage quit after 20 minutes. The Frog Lord wants the Golden Fly. I do wonder, why did Kuro start his adventure without proper gear? We need a special spell to get to the golden fly. And here it is, the water spout spell. I think there's a glitch that makes the spell disappear if you enter another screen while it's in your inventory. Okay Mr. Frog, we have your fly. I think there's a hidden room somewhere in this tree. Ha! Go forth, Lenny Winks. The fantasy elements in this game are great. I think the people who made this were fans of Tolkien. This game takes place in the land of Sindarin, and Kuros is from the kingdom of Elrond.
Alright, we have arrived in the water demon's realm. There's another relic here. These angry blobs can't hurt you when their eyes are closed. My creator used to find this level a little bit scary. But she was like, 5 years old. How is Kuro swimming around in heavy armor? And how is he breathing underwater? Damn it, I can't go back. Here's the boss killer spell. Tell me human, what are the hardest Nintendo games that you've played? Iron Sword is definitely in my creator's top 5 hardest NES games. But the number 1 spot goes to the Nintendo version of Dragon's Lair. That game was so hard that she couldn't even make it past the first stage. There was a hole in the floor that was impossible to jump. The game didn't have Don Blitz's gorgeous animation, so who cares? I guess that was all the money. I think the silver fleece makes you invisible, but it doesn't last very long. And here's the water demon. He kind of looks like Mother Brain from the short-lived Captain N cartoon. Now we head to the big volcano. This is where the difficulty starts to go up. My creator rarely made it past the fire realm. Damn. My nails are way too long for this kind of button mashing. Hey I forgot to show you the gambling minigame. 
You just pick a cup and waste your money. We need to find the crown for the dragon that guards the summit. You need the fleet foot spell to get the crown. I'm sure there are skilled gamers out there who know how to beat this game without any cheat, but I'm not one of them. My attention span is too short for figuring out the best tactics. It's pretty hard to find magic in this realm. This is where you find the golden crown. Fudge. It didn't work. Okay, you just have to press right when you hit the slope. And now we have the crown for the dragon. A slightly better helmet. The cavern is literal hell. And we are dead. Those pooping demons are annoying as hell. Get away from me. Do I need to get a restraining order against you? I think there was another treasure of centering in here somewhere, but I don't remember where it is. But the special spell is up here. He looks grumpy. You flying little shit. Stop it already. I think there might be a hidden room up here.
Whoopsie. I don't want to waste my magic. The despawning enemies are such a nuisance. If you buy the diamond sword from the innkeeper, make sure you don't accidentally replace it with a weaker weapon. Thanks for poofing on my corpse, buddy. This is a little tricky. Try to hit the spell button when the mouth is on the right side of his face. A few more hits. Only one more realm between us and Nice and Fire Mountain. My creator was really excited when she made it this far for the first time. That's a really hard jump. There's a golden tankard buried in the ground. We need to dig it up for the lord of this realm. The way to lift the tankard from the ground is so bizarre. I have no idea how my creator figured it out when she couldn't even read. It's no wonder that gaming guides and helplines used to be so popular. Have you watched the video game documentary series on Netflix called High Score? It's a pretty interesting look into the history of games and consoles. Well this actually looks like a proper sword. I need more keys. I'm trying to find more magic. My game would be so over without the cheat. I've made it to the final boss a few times, but I don't remember much about it. to watch out for the big ham.
I wonder what this spell does. Does it turn my enemies into food? Where's that hidden treasure? I missed the one in the fire level. I hope this isn't the one ring to rule them all. Finally some magic. That's creepy. Oh shit, he ate the big ham. I'm gonna buy the diamond helmet And more keys please Scorch wasn't even hidden. Another thing I like about this game is how colourful it is. The graphics were pretty impressive for 89. We get so much money in this area. Oh no, I remember this stupid cliff. Okay, let's go and fight the Earth Lord. As soon as Kuros is resurrected. Where am I supposed to hit him? Whoa! 
What on earth? I can only hit him when I can't even see him. I must be doing something wrong. But hey, if it works. Oh, come on. We have assembled the iron sword. And now we have to climb up to the ice and fire mountain. I don't remember much about this level. I still wonder why Fabio was dressed as Conan the Barbarian on the cover. Kudos looks nothing like him. I think the asp's tongue spell makes the innkeeper go a little crazy. You'll see what I mean once I find another shop. How damn long is this climb? And we're in the final stretch, my friends. It's ham time. Yummy. I'm surprised that he still fits into that armor after eating like 20 hams. What was I supposed to do here? My memories of this level are kind of shaky. I guess we are going up to the summit. Some of these jumps are so tricky. Was that hand poisoned? I need to find magic for the final boss fight. We basically have to fight all four elemental bosses again, but I think they're even stronger. Money is pretty useless at this point.
Key magic. I love this song. Do yourself a favor and find a rock or a metal cover of this. Okay, but where are the four bosses? Ah, there you are. Damn it, Kiros. You're embarrassing me. It's really hard to hit them. Stay still. I have serious respect for anyone who was able to beat this game back in 89 without any cheating. I think you'd need the complete diamond armor set. And really good platforming skills. And maybe those invisibility spells would come in handy here. Don't push me. What was your favorite level? I liked the clouds. And the water level was cool. But I hated the goddamn volcano. You don't wanna climb to the peak. You'll be attacked by all the elements. What are the hardest final bosses you have fought? I don't remember the names of the bosses, but the Mega Man games had several super challenging fights. Why doesn't the spell hit him? There's no way my creator could have beaten this as a kid. One more element remaining.
come on, Kiros. We are so close. We did it. The evil wizard is dead. Is the floating head him? What's it doing? Wow, that was kind of anticlimactic. Thank you for joining me on this little nostalgia journey. Maybe I'll see you in another video.